Hey guys, Haseep here. Hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly install Facebook's Pixel on Go High Level Funnel. So I have a funnel over here. I have not created the pages yet. Let me just create the pages and I'll describe what I'm going to do. So this is the landing page. Because this is a three step funnel, there are going to be three pages, right? So the landing page, the schedule page, and finally, you guessed it right, the thank you page. So we got three pages and we want to track different activities on each of these pages, right? So these are the three pages and let me now describe what exactly we want to track. We want to track the visitors. So we want to track the page views uh, that are being generated from the ad. So if someone clicks on the ad and comes to the landing page, we want to be able to track that. That's the first thing we want to track. The second thing we want to track is, let's say this landing page has a form and upon form submission, they go to the schedule page, which has the calendar. So landing page, form, submission, they go to the schedule page with a calendar. We want to track the leads. So Technically speaking, if someone submits the form on this page, they go to this page, they become a lead, right? So we want to track the leads. The third thing we want to track is if they schedule an appointment, they go to the thank you page, right? So when they come to this page, they become a scheduled prospect or a lead, you know? So we want to track the page view, we want to track the leads, and we want to track schedules or appointment bookings. These are the three things we want to track using Facebook pixel, right? Let's now go to my Facebook account and I'm going to show you how you can create the pixel, how you can install it on the funnel. So guys, I'm in business.facebook.com slash settings. So if you go to business settings for your business manager, you can come over here that says data sets. Facebook pixels are not called pixels anymore by Facebook. I don't know why they're changing weird stuff. Uh, like they're all over the place with the changes they're doing to the ads manager and the business manager. I don't like it, but yeah, it, it is what it is. So here we are at data sets. They're calling pixels data sets now. So I need to create a new pixel or a data set. I'm going to call it test, right? So I'm going to call it test. This is the pixel I created and what i need to do is i need to create uh, i need to open it in events manager so this is the pixel and i'm gonna come over here set up meta pixel and here i'm gonna say copy code so this is the code right and i'm gonna discuss i'm gonna describe what this code exactly does i'm gonna come back to my funnels and just come over to settings and here where it says head tracking code, I'm going to paste the code and let me describe what this code actually does. So you can see this says FBQ track page view. So this code needs to be on all the pages by all pages. I mean, three. So it needs to be on all pages. It's a pain in the ass to go ahead and install it in each individual page. So what we are doing is we're just going settings and putting it here. So it automatically is put on all the pages that this funnel has in this case there's three okay so we've done with the setting code which we call base code so this is the base code now what we need to do is we need to go to the schedule page and we need to edit it and this is going to be a blank page so don't freak out because i'm not showing any you know design stuff or anything but let's assume this page has a calendar so Okay, once this page opens, what we need to do is we need to go here that says tracking code and just select header tracking and write script. And with script, this is an HTML I'm adding and I'm going to say FBQ or you can just go ahead and go to settings, you know, and just copy this thing over here. And instead of page view, I'm going to say lead, right? That's all we need to do, guys. Um, so it's not letting me save it. So I'm going to just add an element here, you know, just so it lets me save the page.
Okay, good. Now, for the thank you page, what we need to track on that thank you page is scheduled, right? So I'm going to open this and I'm going to copy this code from here. So let me just, uh, like the other one, let me just have something at least here. So I'm going to call this thank you. And here where it says tracking code, I'm going to select header tracking. And instead of lead, this time I'm going to call schedule. Okay. Fine. Save it. So now let's understand what's happening. Under settings, we've got the base code from Facebook Pixel or Facebook data set. This code actually tracks the page views in each individ individual page, right? So that's essential. We need to do that. Second thing what we did is under scheduled page, we installed the lead code, right? So this is the schedule page. As you can see over here, we've installed the lead tracking code. So we can say once the person comes from a uh, landing page to schedule page, they've become a lead because they had to submit the form in order to come to this page. So we know for sure that they become a lead. So we are tracking that via this code. The third thing, when they come to thank you page from this page, we know for sure that they have booked the appointment. That's why they got redirected to this page. So via this code, we are tracking schedule. Now let's test it out. I'm using Facebook pixel helper. So I'm going to go ahead and search for Facebook pixel helper or meta pixel helper. Yeah, whatever. I'm just going to add it to Chrome. pin it and now let me just go ahead and open these pages right okay guys it wasn't letting me open this page because it didn't have any elements so i just added a, a header element just so i can show you the example so when i open this now it says landing page this is the header i added to this page and just so you remember i didn't add any code to this specific page right so all i can see is the code that I put under settings on the funnel. And if I come down here to meta pixel helper, I can see page view. So this is the page view uh, code that's triggered once I loaded this page. So these are all page load actions, right? Page load events, you might say. Now, if I go to schedule page, let me see what trigger uh, what codes really fire from here. So this is the schedule page and it's fully done loading and so this is the lead code i installed on this page specifically not any other page and additionally i can see the page view because it's uh, it's getting the code from the funnel settings and it's installed over all the pages similarly for thank you page if the page uh, gets loaded i can see the page view and i can see schedule as well so again now when someone lands on the landing page, the page view will be tracked for sure. Again, uh, when they become a lead by submitting the form on this page and coming to this page, they'll be uh, tracked as a lead. And if they schedule an appointment from the calendar on this page, they go to this page and they'll be tracked as a schedule, right? So th these are the three actions. And if you want to track any other kind of action, uh, I'll show you uh, the page where you can get all these event triggers or event trigger codes from. And I'll also link it in the description so you don't have to uh, find it. So guys, this is the page. Uh, and you remember we did something like this FBQ track schedule, FBQ track lead. So this is if they add their payment info, you can track that. This is add to cart, add to wish list maximum e-commerce stuff you know contact complete registration find location this is the one you used we can also use purchase with a value to so go ahead and try it out uh, this is similar to google conversion tracking where you can track uh, sales as well based on conversion value so make sure you try that this one we used already search you know all these stuff so i'll link it in the description so you can see it for yourself and that's how we can install Facebook Pixel in a Go High Level Funnel.
make sure you subscribe if you liked this video and i will see you in the next one thank you Thank you.